So this is a clean white Venetian plaster ceiling. It's a three coat Rosello process. It's a fine marmarino. Fine marmarinos are all your shiny Venetian plaster. Of course, with clean white marmarinos, we're gonna use the Exotic X. X is for special treated steel. Very, very important. And one thing particular uh, artists or applicators like is that it has this wooden handle. People, some people like the uh, wooden handle, some people like the rubber handle. The wooden is good for a grip, but so is the rubber. It all depends. What's your preference? This is one of my favorite trials, and plus it looks so sexy. So clean white Venetian plaster. White Venetian plaster could be one of the hardest ones to do. Color is actually easier. The reason why white could be the hardest is because it's hard to see where you stopped. So it's something that you have to come down and look at where you begin, where you stop, something like that. And then remember, it's a whole set, even your burnishing trial, have it as the same, the X trial, very, very important. Well, it's not important, it's just nice to have a set. So normally you notice we stop here where it's burnished. So I'm gonna work from dry to wet. And the whole point is compressing it to the shiny part. You have to do the proper compression. Proper compression is the most important thing. So the blend comes out really, really nice. So I'm not gonna start right here. I'm gonna start a couple of inches away so I can compress it properly to it. Where's the right? Pass me the right. So you see, I did, I did a little dirty mark from back. Clean it out. You know, us pros have all the tricks. This is the 150 millimeter uh, spatula knife. Uh, I always like to use big spatulas so you clean your trowel better and you have a good amount of product that you scoop out of the bucket. And then after a big uh, section, two to three feet, we stop, we come back with the burnishing trial. Even burnishing, you gotta be very careful. You put it in a nice 45 degree angle and you can try to use your back support for extra strength. So you can just use all your shoulders. And what I like to do is I like to burnish where the shiny begins. At the merge point. Exactly. Okay, that's where I like to start. So normally when you're doing a ceiling, you go a little higher so you look and you see what's missing. And you come back and hit it. 